everyone, it's Kelsey. This video is gonna be a little bit relaxed because it's late Sunday night and the video has to go up tomorrow morning. I got a cold this weekend, so I don't look all that spiffy or anything like that, but I hope you will forgive me for just this week, seeing as how you've forgiven me for all the weeks I've just straight up not uploaded a video at all. I filmed a video this morning that I thought was gonna be a good video, but because my brain is a little fuzzy from being sick, I think I'll save that video topic for when I'm not feeling so just iffy and I can actually talk about it well. So I won't tell you what it's about, so it'll be a surprise, but maybe it'll be two weeks from now when I film my next video. Instead, I wanted to talk about some of the books that I'm reading right now. Yes, I said that with an S on the end of book, that is plural books. I'm one of those people that I can't just read one book at a time. I mean, I might read one book in a day if I'm really dedicated and have nothing else to do, but for the most part, I tend to read at least two to three books at a time. Uh, I've done this for as long as I can remember, and they all tend to be different types of books because, I mean, I'll be reading a fantasy novel and I have to put it down for some reason, and then the next day maybe I'm not really in the mood to read any more fantasy, so I have to pick up a, a mystery novel or any other kind of novel. I, I like to read more than one at once, so I thought I would share with you the books that I am reading right now. The first book I'm reading, Casey will recognize, and it's not really a novel or anything like that, but it's a Jane Austen devotional that Casey got for me for my birthday. I am not very far in it because I keep forgetting to read through it each night. It usually starts with an excerpt from one of Jane's novels and then a little verse and some lessons that can be learned from her book and um, I just think that's very special and it stays by my bed you so I am in the process of reading it uh, and I'm really enjoying it. The next book I'm reading is Cinder by Marissa Mayer, Meyer and I'm really enjoying it. I'm not very far into it, as you can tell, but I'm really enjoying it. I, after coming off of reading A Robot in the Garden, I was very excited to pick up a new book that had, um, I guess, androids in it. I shouldn't say robots because they haven't said robots, I don't think, but anyway, the technology is very exciting to read about, so I'm enjoying that. The next book I'm reading is actually on my new Kindle Voyage, which I just treated myself to this past week. I'm very excited about it. My old Kindle died about a year ago, and I finally just decided, you know, I miss my Kindle books, so here we go. I started reading this book tonight, actually, because Lex from the YouTube, her, I can't, I think it's Lex Ken Roar is her username, but putting her link in the doobly-doo because she's great and if you're not watching her videos you should be. She's talked about We Have Always Lived in the Castle by Shirley Jackson a couple times and I figured since it's October it's time for a spooky read. I just started it but it seems pretty good so far. And finally I don't actually have it with me. It's downstairs and I'm too lazy to go downstairs and get it but I am also reading Father of the Bride by Edward Streeter. I really love the movie version with Steve Martin and I've watched that and its sequel with my mom and my sister more times than I can remember, and so I'm finally reading the book. It's just taking me a little longer to read that one because I've kind of dubbed it my gym read, and I typically read it when it's cardio day at the gym, and I'll read it when I'm on the treadmill or on the bike, and I have not made it to the gym the past few weeks, so that has not happened, but that is what I'm reading while I'm at the gym, and Cinder is what I'm reading just in general, but I just started We Have Always Lived in the Castle, which I'm also reading now, and the devotional is gonna hopefully happen every night before I go to bed. Those are the books I'm reading right now. Let me know in the comments below what kind of reader you are. Do you read one book at a time, or are you like me and you know, you just think life's too short to only read one book at a time. How would I have the time to read all the books that I want to read if I can't read multiple at once? Thanks for watching this week. Casey, I will see you next week. Bye.